Here is what my finished bubble sort project looks like. This first block, of course, just creates a list and uh, adds 10 random numbers to the list. So if I run it right now, you can see that I have added 10 random numbers to my list. I can run it again. Again, it creates a list with 10 random numbers. Uh, just a, in case you're wondering what this thing does, I've just created my list and I'm setting it to a list with no items. This is the same thing as saying just delete all items in the list. And then I'm repeating 10 times. Uh, I'm adding a random number to my list. So anyway, here's my list. Hopefully this part makes sense. And now I'm gonna run my bubble sort block and you'll see what's going on. Now, my bubble sort block, I hope you can see what's happening. My bubble sort block has a say statement in there so you can see what's actually getting swapped as it runs. And you can see it's making several passes of my list until finally everything is in sorted order. So just to be clear again, it makes the pass of the list, it swaps consecutive items if necessary, and then it makes another pass of the list and another pass of the list. Obviously you're gonna need some kind of for loop for that. And it's going to keep going until all of the items are sorted. So you're going to need a second block. That block, of course, you're going to use inside of your bubble sort block. And that second block is called is sorted. So if I run this now, you can see that it says true because my list is sorted. Now you created a very similar block to this already called in order. So this should be pretty easy for you to write. And again, if I, if I run this initially, here is my unsorted list. If I run it now, is it sorted? False. So obviously your bubble sort is going to use this is sorted to determine <laughs> whether the list is completely sorted or not. And of course, you're also going to need this block which swaps to positions in the list. So here I can run this. I can swap, for example, item nine and 10 in my list or any items actually, but you're going to use this to, to as you go through your list to swap consecutive items if they need to be swapped. So hopefully this all makes sense. You're going to write a bubble sort block and inside of it, you're going to need an, an is sorted, which is going to return true if your list is sorted, false otherwise. And you're also going to need a block which swaps items in your list. So hopefully that is enough to get you started and good luck. This is a little bit of a tricky project.